in nearly all of the communities I visited worldwide come down to warming, drought, and loss of water. I could put it in a nutshell. Except for the island nations that are having trouble sea level rise, and even before the sea level is rising, the influx, intrusion of brackish water that's ruining their agricultural lands, uh, mostly it's about losing water. In the Pacific Northwest of the U.S., uh, the people have lost about a third of their water in the last half century. And all the glaciers, especially, are receding at a very rapid rate, just a fraction in their mass of what they were even 20 years ago. So the other part of it is that since indigenous people depend directly on their environment for their livelihoods and for their subsistence and for their cultural needs in 12 major cultural categories, we have a very degraded forest and grasslands and marshlands and estuaries and so on. We're, we're losing our fisheries. Salmon is the fish that is most important in the area that I live in and I work in. And uh, the people are suffering because they no longer have very many fish to catch. So they have very few medicinal plants they can find. They have lost many of the cultural plants and the habitat for animals because of forest degradation. So what climate change is doing is not directly, but more indirectly exasperating or intensifying what are already very degraded ecosystems that were poorly managed for too long. And so we're, we talk about ecocultural or biocultural restoration to try to get those systems uh, back in, in a more of a state of balance. It's also called ecosystem-based adaptation because the people do depend directly on those systems. And therefore, Many of the, even the berries, are not producing like they used to produce. People can't find good, good plants, good medicinal plants. Uh, they can't find the fish they used to find. They can't find the animals they used to find. And we have wildfires like you wouldn't believe. From Alaska to northern Mexico, beetles are killing trees because they're overcrowded due to industrial logging practices. Lots of little trees. Lots of brush through evapotranspiration, taking water from the groundwater table up into the uh, atmosphere. And so our springs are going dry. Streams that used to be perennial are now ephemeral. Uh, we have places uh, on, on, on off-reservation lands, off-reserve lands in Canada, where people have difficulty accessing their cultural resources, accessing sacred sites. So one of our problems is dealing with the provincial and federal governments in Canada Crown lands and dealing with the federal agencies and states in the U.S. Oh, Hanano, Ekao.